Welcome everyone, Corey Dooley here, Backyard Fitness by Corey, and this is completely lower body. Are you ready? Let's take it wider than hip width apart. Come on, and let's dance. Come on, Kurt. Bump, bump. <laughs> All right, we're gonna shift to the right and to the left. Just put those hands on the hips. Face your knees straight forward, face your toes straight forward. Really start to actively push into the hip that your side you're leaning on. Feel the glute, inner thighs, outer thighs, bringing that heart rate up slowly. Woo. Now we're gonna add a little knee lift with that right side on the next one. So just push off and hold. Yes, so just that side chest, high knee, hold. Good, use those arms, bring that heart rate and body temperature up a little bit. What a beautiful hump day. Halfway through the week, we're gonna get her done. <laughs> there we go. Good, give me four more. Three, two, and we'll just go back to that side to side. So shift right, shift left. And then we're gonna take it into that opposite side. On the next one, lift that left leg. Lift it up, push it out. Lift it up, and when you step it out, that knee lift straight up. Yes. Little deceleration. That's it. Explosive push off, and then hold. Four more. Three. I like it. Two. And one, side to side, shift it. Right and left. There we go. So we're gonna take that right leg in and bring it right to that left leg. And I want you to reach the right leg behind you and switch. So just that rear reverse lunge. I like to call it a rear lunge. Bring that knee closer to the floor. Keep the feet a little bit of apart. They feel better center of gravity. Now the arms are just reaching up. Increase that breath and heart rate a little bit, that body temperature. Yes. Remember, if you're joining us today, you will need a bench, dumbbells or no dumbbells. It is all leg workout. Good. Last 10 seconds. Now remember, warm to how good you feel. Range of motion. Listen to your body, respect it. If you need to pull back, absolutely. Last one on the left. And perfect. All right, grab your weight. We're gonna go into a front lunge and a reverse lunge. So, right leg, front lunge, reverse lunge. Left leg, front lunge, reverse lunge. And that's all we're doing, and you keep alternating. This will elevate your heart rate. I will tell you, we're gonna go for two minutes on each leg, so it'll be four minutes total. I want a big range of motion. You're working the quad, hamstrings, and glutes. Yes or yes? In three, Two, take that right leg forward, back to center, right leg, reverse, switch, left side. Now, whatever feels good for you. If that was good, take it a little bit farther forward. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Shoulders are stacked over the hips. Nice. You got it. Ah. You start to feel like this is getting a little too tough or your heart rate's getting a little too elevated. Then yes, absolutely. Drop those weights. And keep moving. Keep grooving. Good. 
There's one minute. Now, should you be feeling that breath a little bit stronger? Yes. Heart rate a little bit elevated? Absolutely. Anytime you work legs, guys, that's exactly what happens. Good. How's it feeling, Sandy? I like your range. Good, Kirk. Good, Char. Woo! My quads, by the way, and my inner thighs are still sore from Saturday's Pilates Fusion. <laughs> that inner thigh got worked. So we're coming into that halfway point. Good. I'm gonna turn sideways. So some people like to lunge and then lean forward. That just puts a little more emphasis on the glute. Yes, you can do that. But remember, we're still gonna focus on that glute in another area. So push off. Beautiful. I like it. One minute and 30. I keep forgetting that left side reverse. <clears throat> Checking that breath, guys. Slow the heart rate. Breathe in through the nose, out through the mouth. Or in through the nose, and out through the nose. One minute to go. And if you weren't warm, I hope you are now. Yeah, it's good, Char. Thirty seconds, team. That's it. Now, hopefully, we will get through two sets. Let's see. Sometimes I talk a little too much and explain a little too much, and we get cut out of a set. <laughs> This will be your last one. Finish it up. Opposite leg. And reverse. Excellent. All right. Set your weights out of the way. <clears throat> Grab that towel. What did I do with my towel? I left it inside. 100% passion. All right. So you're going to be on your elbow, facing the camera with your hips. It's just a single side oblique lift. Now, modification, knee is down, you dip the hip and you lift. Level one, level two, you lift the leg. Level three, both feet are long, you're here. Level four, you lift the leg. Guys, I need to make sure if your legs are extended, Make sure they're both locked out, especially the top leg. Make sure, I'll turn sideways, that you stay in that nice flat glass position, okay? The hips are stacked. It doesn't start to externally rotate. It doesn't go too far forward. Flat as a board. When you fatigue, I just want you to hold. You're going for one minute. Yes, you can. Here we go. Five, four, lift it up, little dip. Big lift. Now notice how long at the top I'm holding that. So this is a little bit of oblique. You know, muffin top and a lot of glutiny glutamine. Shaping the side of that butt cheek. If you need to, you can lightly place that hand on the floor if you need to. Only if you need to. Get the belly button. Look at your legs. Are they nice and long? Are they straight? Are they locked out? They should be. You've got 20 seconds, team. Could you lift that top hip a little higher to the ceiling? 
Try it. Come on. Dip and lift. Dip and lift. Less than 10. Shoulders are stacked. Last one. Yes. How'd we do? Woo. I can already tell just doing those in like a week how much stronger you get. All right. One side is always going to be a little stronger, a little weaker. If it's your weaker side, please push through it. Take your mind somewhere else. Three, two, let's go. Up. Lock it out. You're out of that shoulder. With the elbow that is down. Breathe. Yes. Yep. And lift as high as you can. Yep. Lift as high as you can. We're halfway, guys. Woo! If you feel it more in the oblique, it's okay. 99% of us need to strengthen that glute knee, that glute men. That pretty much covers everybody. Less than 20 seconds. Get the belly button. Come on, you need to put that knee down, put it down. Just keep working. Five, four, three, two. Nice work. All right. So we're going to go on to all fours. You're going to give me a donkey kick option with a heavy weight behind your knee. Now, you can be here where your palms are in line with your shoulders, but if you feel your back at all, preference is to go down onto your elbows. You're going to take that dumbbell right behind. Now, what's key with this is see my toes pointed? I need you to flex it, okay? So that's plantar flexion. This is dorsal flexion. So I need a dorsal flexion, and you're going to squeeze the weight, and you're going to drive your heel to the ceiling. Bring it back down. Push it to the ceiling. So you're working the glute mass. Yes? Yeah? Now, this is slow. So we're going to do it for two minutes. I'm going to grab a little bit heavier weight here. I might regret it. But it's better than in paying for that butt. <laughs> we'll put paying for it in another way. I like it, Char. Flex your foot. Take your, shin, your toes towards your shins. Here we go. Abs are in tight, long spine. At the top, give me that big squeeze, guys. Remember, come back down slow, but really keep it tight at the top. Let's go. Lift it up. Try to avoid shifting your weight too much into that other side. Pull the belly button in. Gaze is down at the floor. Woo! Yes. So good. Now, if you don't have the option of a lighter set of weight, then you take that weight out when you need to, but you keep moving. You just do, just the donkey kicks like we would in Pilates without the weight. You can put a towel, you have shorts on, or you just take that pressure behind. All good. Your hamstring is active. It's firing because you're squeezing that weight. One minute to go. Now when you lift it, notice your rib cage doesn't change when you lift it as high as you can. So there's no movement from the hip bone up. Just that leg, that heel is driving to the ceiling, firing that glute. Fire! Woo! 45 seconds, guys. Oh, mine is on fire. It is fatiguing. 30 seconds. We set out quickly. All right. Now I can do a little bit more. So remember, if you have the heavy weight, how long would you want to do this for? 60 seconds is plenty. But if you're still doing it and you're like, oh, I'm not feeling it, then you increase the time. You make do with what you have, and then we can get back into the gym. We can correct that. But we can still build 
Last one. Excellent. Now, before we start on the other side, child pose. Push into the hip of the knee that was anchored. Take your hands to the opposite side. Oh. <laughs> nice work, guys. Woo. And then you could take the hands over to the opposite side if you need to. Oh. Man, I know I'm going to feel those tomorrow. Thank you for doing them with me. I've been thinking about them, and that's as far as I got. <laughs> How do we do? You guys okay? All right, let's get it to the other side. Here we go, on all fours. Remember, you should never see any of this. People always use momentum to try to go higher, but it's defeating the purpose, okay? Unless you're at that very last thing and you're trying to use a little bit of momentum just to get it up there. All right, three, two, opposite side. Let's go. Inhale as you go down. Exhale as you push it to the ceiling. Heel to the ceiling. Keeping that hamstring active. So good. Inhale down. Exhale as you drive up. Very nice. Guys, can you believe this Saturday is already August 1st? Wake me up when September comes. <laughs> I don't know. Where is it? It's flying by. Time always goes faster after my birthday, though. Hello. Are you guys out gallivanting around the neighborhood? Knock my earpiece out. Huh? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yes. Give me kisses. It'll help me lift higher. Lots of kisses. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is that weak side. Gotta switch it out quickly. Keep going, guys. You got 45 seconds right now. If you have a lot of puppies giving you love, I'll let you borrow mine. I ran them out. Free love, free love. Picking up. Uh -huh. What are you looking at, Bobo? 30 seconds. Holy crap. Woo. We got this. We got this. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. I know. No, hit it, Bobo. Oh, no, wait. I'm still going to push a couple extra. Oh boy, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, child pose, reach into either butt cheek, take the hands to the opposite side. You're that out, what are you doing? Huh? <laughs> okay, that is enough. I did know how to do that. Hmm? I know. Make sure you switch it to the other side. All right, we're gonna go back up to lunges. Okay, Bubba? Back up to lunges, guys. Grab those dumbbells or no dumbbells. Ooh. Okay, get this side. All right, so we're gonna do a side lateral and then a transverse. So right leg, okay? Right leg is gonna step out. Three o'clock, come back in, and four o'clock, yes? And then we're gonna go to the other side, nine o'clock and eight o'clock. <clears throat> so, we're back up for four minutes. You gotta move. Go, go, over here, come here. Okay, over here, how about over here? Here, sit down, sit. <laughs> Thank you. Right there. Perfect. <clears throat> Are we ready? Going in five. Right leg's going to start. Here we go. Three o'clock. Toe and knee straight forward. Four o'clock. Yes. Left side. Nine o'clock. 
And eight o'clock. Beautiful. Same thing. All right, three and four on that right, which would be my left. So you guys are near me. And then nine o'clock on the transverse, your opposite leg locks out. There we go. So right now, left leg would lock out. Beautiful. Keep that chest lifted. Nine o'clock and eight o'clock. Good. Doesn't have to be a big step, guys. It can be a short little step. Whatever feels best for you. Inner outer thigh. Glute. Hamstring. It's all. Every part of your legs. Very nice. Yes. Ooh. I love slow and big range of motion. Right? And then if we wanted to grab a little bit heavier weights, we could. Or if we don't have that option, what can we do? We've got great range of motion. Now we can incorporate a little bit of speed into it. But if you start to lose your form or your range of motion, you regress back to slower. God, so nice. So a lot of people start to use that upper body and they really hip hinge over too far. You notice my chest never drops very low. Putting all the weight into that backside. So good. We're halfway, team. Woohoo! Yeah, good. Side, nice. Recognize how you're feeling. Where's the heart rate? Does the heart rate always match the breath? No. Heart rate is not absolute. You want to pay attention to the breath. That's the number one tool. And then the second would be that heart rate. We're going to that bench, guys, in about one minute. Work in a specific area of that glute and hamstring. Toe taps and then calf raises. They will not be an elevated heart rate. Good. 45 seconds. Nice, Sandy. You and Kurt are in unison. <laughs> yes. Keep pulling the abs in. Beautiful. So if your name tag was on the front of your chest, I can see it through every movement. Still showing. There we go. Woo! Coming in to the last one. All the way around. Yes, we can. Here we go. Side, transverse, feet together. Side, feet together. Last transverse, excellent. All right, so toe taps. What would you guys like to do on your toe taps? Whatever weight or no weight, it's up to you. So I want you to go over to that bench, try it without the weight. If you feel like, okay, I need something to thrust me forward a little bit, then my suggestion is definitely use the weight, okay? I like to use the weight just so I can lean forward, shift more weight into my butt cheek, and then tap that toe on the floor. Your job, your objective is to tap the toe but not put any weight, and then come all the way back up and lock the standing leg that's on the bench, okay? These are slow, so you know the modifications. No weight, don't go all the way down, do what you can. So I'm gonna come up to the top, I'm gonna bend my knee, I'm gonna hip hinge forward, and I'm gonna bend, Half, and then straight back up. So these are nice and slow. We're gonna do these for a minute to 90 seconds, okay? 
Again, if you fatigue, you will know. Drop the weight. If you're still fatiguing, then don't go as low, but keep moving through it. Here we go. Three, two, very specific area in that glam. Abs in tight, drop the chest forward. Straight back up. Pick a spot on the floor that is not moving. Pull the abs in. Now, your knee will be going forward towards the toes, but your heel should never come off of the bench. You're pushing into the heel and the toe and the ball. Front of the shin, that anterior tibialis, just like a squat, is working. Been a while since we've done these. These are my favorite butt shapers. There's a new name for them. Butt shapers. <laughs> the heavier you go, the stronger you can build it. But again, how much weight do you have? Very little? Increase your duration in time. Heavy weight? Decrease your duration in time. Go for that 10 rep. Go for that 15 rep. We're not there. We have some lightweight. Good shot. Is your back toe tapping that floor? When it comes up to the ceiling, keep the weight off of that foot. It stays on that one leg only. Woo! 10 seconds. We could get one more. Excellent. So right in that glam area, that smiley face, banana cheek, whatever you want to call it. All right, we're going to the other side in five, four, three, two, let's go. This is the side I have to be a little tender on. If you want something to hold on, as I'm holding on to my wall here, you can do that as well. Ooh, this one's not going to take very much weight. Range of motion is so much shorter. I'm going to drop that weight and see if I can increase that range of motion. There it is, at least for a couple. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Yes, good Sandy. Woohoo! Oh, yeah! Guys, you got 25 seconds. 25 seconds on this side. Come on. Yes, 10 seconds. Oh, feel that nice cool breeze. Last one. And excellent. Hello. All right, we are going into the calf raises, guys. So you're back up on the bench. Whatever leg you're working, that is where the side that's gonna hold that dumbbell. The opposite leg. So if I'm gonna work my right here, I'm going to put the ball of my foot and the toe on the bench. The other foot comes off. I'm just going to lift up as high as I can, drop down, but I'm not dropping to where my toes come off the bench, okay? And you lift up as high as you can and drop back down. Are we ready? 90 seconds. Three, two, here we go. Elevate. Flat. Elevate. Now, if you want to drop below the bench, you can, but keep your toes on the bench. They should not float off. Good. So which foot are you working, Kurt? If you're working your left, or are you working your right? Sandy, which foot are you working? Your right? I want to see that left foot off of the bench. 
Place the shoelace on the bench like I am to the side. Woo! There is that burn. Hello. So 45 seconds, I have a burn. Do you? That's what you want. Let's push through that. Come on, we got less than 30 seconds. Wow. Can you say hello? <laughs> hello, Gastrock. Hello, Solius. Lift it. Lift it. Yes. Yes. Good, Char. Perfect. It's okay to hang on to that wall. So we're doing them for 75 seconds. If you want to go a little longer because your weight's lighter, be my guest. I'll watch your last one. Good. Who's going to go a little longer? Lift it up for 15 seconds. Yes. 10. County Missouri style. There'll be five. There go four. Three. Two. And excellent, guys. Nice work. All right. Let's switch to the opposite side. I can see the paint job up here a little bit better. <laughs> All right. Are we ready? Other side. Let's go. Lift. Now, you can put it down low or you can put it over your shoulder. Whatever you prefer. Whatever's easiest. Lift it up. Good. Push that heel to the floor with the toes. All five. Or if you have a six, stay anchored. Lift and lower. Good. Lift and lower. Abs are in tight. Shoulders are stacked. Try to shift a little more weight onto that calf. 45 seconds down. Well, at least I'm consistent. This side's starting to burn on that side too. I'm going for five, and then the rest of you guys will finish it for the other 15 seconds. Three, two, 15 more seconds. Go. Woohoo! Yes, you can. Come on. Up as high as you can. Get that heel off of that floor. Work it. Five, four, three, two, and excellent. All right. Woo! We're doing good. Get some water. We're going into round two, team. How much water are you drinking a day? Every day. How much should you drink? If you're over 100 pounds, I always like to say two liters. That's at least a half gallon. Can you drink too much water? Yes, you can. There is no formula. Every person's different. Some people sweat a lot. Some people don't sweat at all, but... As a general rule, usually if you're an adult, a half gallon a day is good. If it's your first time to start drinking a lot of water, you're going to retain and put on some extra weight until your body realizes that you're, not, you're drinking it consistently and then it'll start letting go of it and then that water weight will drop. And flush fat, beautiful years for your skin. Guys, I could do a water commercial right now. Which one do I want to promote? <laughs> Definitely not Fuji. And one other water I will never promote, one that has a pH. Stay away from alkaline water. It's a no, no, no. Ask me about it later. Are we ready? Let's stay right leg only, front lunge and reverse lunge, okay? Here we go, in five. We're going for two minutes only on one leg. Front to back, three, two, let's go. Front, reverse. Same leg, front, Reverse. <laughs> Woo! Yes. There we go. Take your time. You are trying to bring that knee down to the floor. As low as you can get it, actively stretching that quadricep. Front leg pushes off, push the quad. Push off. Shoulders stay stacked. If you don't have to set the foot down in the middle, don't. Float right into the reverse. Float right into the front. 
Float, float. <laughs> God. Ooh. Yes, that left leg is working just to stabilize. Now remember, can you take the stance a little bit wider? Yes, you can. It increases your center of gravity and helps you control it a little bit more. If you walk on a tightrope to where I hide that leg behind the other leg, that's, or in front like this, that's gonna make it a little more difficult. 30 seconds, guys. Nice. Remind me not to do legs on Wednesday again. <laughs> After two cycles, they're a little shot. They're like screaming at me. What the heck are you doing? <laughs> Woo! Less than 10. One more. Why not? Last reverse. Beautiful. All right. Where's that heart rate? Mine's elevated. Breath is a little heavy. Let's go in. Hold on. Five, three, and one. Let's go. Other side. Yes. You like that counting? <laughs> Go to the bus. Don't let me kick you, Kindle. <laughs> okay? Oh, she doesn't care. She's asleep. You know why I know both of these dogs are down here? And the other one's upstairs? Dan must be gone. <laughs> He's gone. Hitting golf balls. What do you think, Kurt? Sounds like a fun time. <laughs> Forty-five seconds down. That's it. My nice shot. So if you can, guys, remember to comment on my YouTube channel. If you subscribe, thank you very much. If you like my videos, subscribe, comment, let me know what you want more of what you disliked. That's right. All criticism is good criticism. As long as you liked it or disliked it just because it made you work, right? 15, no, 30 seconds. I like it. We'll bring it down in 15 seconds, and you'll go into that side oblique lift. My second favorite. Last one forward. Woo! I feel good. And last one reverse. So glad I get to work out today. Keep telling yourself that. It's a great attitude to have, right? All right, side oblique. Back it. Lock it. So, I'm a piece of toast right now. Might be a little bit chunkier like a Texas piece of toast. I'm definitely not Ezekiel bread right now. <laughs> but pretend that you're a piece of toast in a toaster. So you have a hot plate in front of you, you have a hot plate behind. So you're gonna stay nice and fat. Everything's in tight. Three, two, and let's go. Down and up. Out of that bottom shoulder. Lift and lower. Look at that top leg. Take a moment. Lock it out. All the bottom is doing the work. Down and up. This is when the sweat starts running off. Woohoo! 30 seconds. I have to drop it. It's fatiguing. Remember, you're still trying to get that hip 
as high as you can. The drop can be small. The lift can be small. But you're still giving me more on that top side than you are on the bottom side. Come on. Three, two, and one, and release down. Whoa. How are we doing, guys? You know what sounds really good right now? A glass of champagne. <laughs> Five o'clock, six o'clock. There we go. You guys play those games with yourself and go, okay, if I've had this much water, I can have one glass of champagne. Am I the only one that does that? Am I the only idiot that plays these games with myself? <laughs> Here we go, lift up, down and up. I don't allow myself coffee until I've had a liter of water in the morning. Yep. And I'm not even a coffee drinker. I like it for social. It doesn't wake me up. I could drink it and go to sleep. It's all about, I think as a kid smelling it when my parents used to drink it. And they drank a lot of coffee. <laughs> Ooh, at least I'm consistent on that side. 30 seconds, guys. Come on, come on, lift it. You got this, you got 10 seconds now. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I can tell that's gonna be sore tomorrow. Woo! We're good. All right, donkey kick. Put that towel behind your knee if you like. I have some thicker leggings on. I'm not looking for that. All right, there's that 20. Now remember, when it fatigues, when you can't lift it anymore, I want you to take that weight out and then do some with no weight, okay? Three. Let me get this. I don't have to look over there. Let me reset. Three, two, let's get it. Straight up, heels to the ceiling. You're lifting it as high as you can. And then you bring it back down a little bit. Your abs are tight. Inhale, exhale, blow, blow. Move away from the plate. I don't want to hit you. <laughs> now, you got the motion. Think about what part of your butt you're feeling this. The glute max is the big part of your butt cheek. You should be feeling it from almost from the top of that hip all the way down. You don't think you're feeling it. Take a hand back there and feel it squeeze. <laughs> Half of it is about squeezing that muscle. Remember I told you, stand in the mirror, squeeze that butt cheek. See if you're squeezing it as much as you're doing the opposite side, one at a time. Guys, you got 15 seconds. Remember, recognize, if you're not feeling it, what could you do? You keep going. I'll wait for you. <laughs> I'll leave the light on for you. Three, two, and one, and release. Nice work. Oh. Hi, bub. Yes, I know. <laughs> you're just starving for attention, aren't you? Hmm? All right, let's switch it to the other side, kids. Don't be... <laughs> okay, where would you like me to go? Roll back this way. Thank you. Roll over. Roll over. Over there. There you go. Stay. Stay. <laughs> Wait for me. All right, are we ready? Ooh, I'm ready. I got him out of the way. they roll over here in a minute. Three. Two, let's go. You guys could have started without me. 
Tired you could go. Just in the way. How are we feeling, Sandy? Flex that foot, guys. Take your toe towards your shin. Almost at that minute marker. We're doing these for 90 seconds. Yes. Wow. Hello, left glute. Sixty seconds, guys. Yep. We'll stretch it after. I didn't forget. Ooh. Ah, less than 10. Yes. Yes. Come on. Last one. Good. So take your knees a little bit apart. Reach into one hip, whichever butt cheek you want. Take the hands over the opposite side. Reach the fingertips away from the body and really push into that side. Great job. Three sets of those might be optimal, but guess what? If you have a lighter weight, that's why we've increased the duration. Two works it. I don't know about you guys, but I really fatigued right at a minute with that one. But then I got a heavier weight. Take it over the other side. Perfect. All right, water. So we're back to the lunges. We're gonna do a side lunge, right into a transverse. We're gonna go two minutes, and we're gonna stay with one side. And all I'm doing is switching it up a little bit because I want you to notice, if you go one side and then you switch to the other side, what does it feel like? Is it something that you like, you don't like, right? Anything that keeps us guessing, keeps us working, We'll take it. All right, so we're gonna go right leg only. Here we go. Three o'clock, transverse, four o'clock. Stay with that same leg. Three o'clock, come on kids. Up to Daisy. Same leg, three and four. So I'm cueing right, but really I'm doing my left because you're mirroring me. Keeping you honest, beautiful. Yes, Char, so good. God, oh yeah. Now, if we had only the side, we'd probably do it for a minute. But because we're taking it to the transverse as well, and we slowed it down, because we've increased our range of motion, we're adding that extra minute. Two full minutes. Why not? You deserve it. <laughs> nice work. Woo. 45 seconds, team. Thirty seconds. So good, 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 good. Your toe and knee straight forward on that side and then transverse, lock out the opposite leg. Good, but if you notice, my foot is still facing straight forward. This foot that's planted is never moving. Nice. Last one, gorgeous. All right, let's head into the other side, here we go. Side, transverse, nine o'clock, eight o'clock. Woohoo! Good. 
Now think about when you're doing the side, you should never be feeling this in the quad. Each step you take, you should be able to lift that toe. On the foot that's moving, okay, so right there I can lift my toe. Right here, I can lift that toe. Where I'm putting all my weight is mainly the heel, the hip. Woo! I'm glad that we at least got two sets in. Three would have killed me. <laughs> Hello, let me sleep in tomorrow. I need my recovery. One minute down. So good. Notice how good you're feeling. Yes. Sometimes during, yep, I'm struggling too. The good news is, is after, you want that intrinsic motivation. You wanna notice how you feel and use that every time. When you have that option, somebody calls you and go, are you sure you just don't wanna go with me outside? Have a cocktail, watch the sunset. Yes, I can meet you at seven o'clock. <laughs> Woo, look at that. Last one, here we go. Nine o'clock, eight o'clock. Beautiful. All right, get some water, team. Two things to go and you are done. Let me put this big bad boy away. Hi. Hey, hi, Bobo. What's up? All right. 20 minutes, I promise I'll walk you. Or do you want to run tonight? I'm not running, but I'll get on my scooter. Toe tap. You guys ready? So we're going to shorten this. We're going <laughs> to... I'm being held down with a big, heavy head. You're going to do it for 60 seconds only, okay? Try to tap the toe, try not to put any weight on that opposite leg at all. Only the one that's on the bench. Going in three, two, knee up, hip hinge, down and up. <laughs> it's gonna get restless. Don't you push me off of here either. <laughs> you big brute. You brute. Oh, 30 seconds, guys. My weight is down. I'm going to hang on to you, Bobo. You make a good tabletop. <laughs> That knee tracks right over the big toe and the next toe. Boom. Woo. Three, two, and one. Excellent work, guys. All right, let's go into that opposite side. Are we ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Let's get it. Oh. Too much. <laughs> Help me, Bobo. Yeah, that butt cheek is really light, really weak. Yes. Oh, I like that. Nice and slow. Look at that control. Ten seconds. Last one. Excellent. All right. Cat raises. Cat raises, guys, and we're done. Yep. Yes or yes? 
Yes, sir, yes. Woo. All right. Pick a foot. Three, two. Follow the foot. And let's go. Lift and lower. So if you're like me, guys, and you're noticing that you're fatiguing, you're getting that burn a lot sooner, a couple things could be going on. Try to avoid just getting discouraged. And that's why I tell people, go in with intentions to maybe lift a little bit heavier. But if you're not feeling it, don't push through it. Just give what you can and wait for that day that you can. Now, as I say that, I know of people that are like, I spend four hours in the gym every day and I'm not seeing results. Well, listen, I can spend four hours in the gym, but I also could spend a half hour where I really work hard with intensity and get results and not have to do that four hours. So if you're walking around a lot, your intensity's not there, you're just kind of giving yourself three minutes in between and then going to do something different, that's gonna make a difference, right? 10 seconds, wow. Three, two, and one. All right, we did it, last set. Here we go, switch it out. Three, two, nice shot, way to get on it, girl. Let's go. Let's get her done. Get her done. Lift and lower. So remember, next week, guys, look for the posting on Sunday. It will be different. 8.30 a.m. on Tuesday will be the strong, not on Mondays anymore. I hope you can still join me. Yes, still a cycle right after. And yes, still Pilates Fusion at 9 a.m. on Saturdays and cycle 10 a.m. These are all my Zoom classes. Love to have you guys join me. Love to have you subscribe to My Backyard Fitness by Corey. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Nice work, guys. All right, I know all of you are good. So, tennis ball, foam roll. If you're a little bit sore tomorrow, do it again. Get a little bit of cardio. You guys were awesome tonight. Thank you so much. Please promise me you will stretch. Yes or yes? Yes. 